Yo, we're gonna talk rosé with Ton Sommelier. We're here in St. Henry. Thank you so much for this beautiful shirt, Kiki. Let's take it away. Let's talk about why rosé is often an afterthought. You go to pick up wine, you never take as much time to select your rosé as you would your red or white. In fact, quick analogy, when I used to work in a restaurant, an Italian restaurant with a large Jewish clientele, I always heard the same joke. I would go to the table and say, do you want red or white? And they would say, well, why don't we mix both and have rosé? As if rosé is nothing more than a wine that can satisfy the need to quench your thirst in the summer heat. And it's true, French people are the ones who've kind of uh, been behind this tendency of rosé is a picnic, pool, and seaside wine. It is something that you drink uh, with olives, perhaps you're going to have a little bit of watermelon, but it is never thought of as something that is complex. And in fact, that's really not true. You can find rosés from Provence, especially Bandeaux, which command a much higher price range than your Gallo. Sometimes three times as much. This one from Domaine Souviol is $27. But don't be afraid to spend that money. Remember, you can attain degrees of complexity if you give your wine love. And often what happens with rosé is that because it's the first commercialized wine from a certain estate, it is their money maker while they're waiting for the red and the white to be ready for the market. So it's true, you can play around with it. You can add sugar, you can make it so that it is more floral, sort of grapefruit, but it always has a sense of being something artificial if it's done in that way. Remember, a sangria can be complex as well if you let the, the, um, the fruits macerate with cognac and triple sec instead of just adding them in last minute. So this is a rosé that has the same complexity as a red or white, meaning it has depth of flavor. It can stand up to your fish, it can stand up to your meat, it can go with the main course. It is not an afterthought. It is not just meant to be enjoyed in a leisure situation. Although on a hot day like this, at 12, man, I'm enjoying this by itself. Keep that in mind, check out the article. Peace.